Friday night's a pirate's life, a pirate's life for me. Pumping and blowing. <laughs> Pumping and blowing. Oh, the pirate movie. Oh, uh, the Razzie Award winning film. Welcome back to Murphine. More crash in the Oogadabut. Ah. With Sean on the, uh, basically the prison escape level. We're climbing up the walls. And falling off of them. See, you hear him hit some concrete down below. It's not that far of a drop. Because you hear the thud before too long. My head's just still on squirrel theme, is this? Oh my goodness. But that's, that's for that, another That's episode. last episode. We're yeah. on this episode. That's so a day that's ago. That's so last reason. episode. <laughs> yeah, we need a new body part to talk about. Squirrel's thigh. I don't like that one. We're just... <laughs> oh. Tortoise's butt crack or something. <laughs> Reminded me of the Harry Potter puppet pals thing where <laughs> they're doing the wizard swears and he just goes, Hi, girls, butt crack. Like all the phlegm. Yeah, what an honor to Alan Rickman. <laughs> well, that was Neville Longbottom. That wasn't even Snape. Oh, oh my <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> It just sounds like. It just sounds you're, like. You're Snape. thinking of. Um, Mr. Potter. You're thinking of Ronald Weasley. It's Olivia Saw. Olivia Saw. Wow, you made it to the end. Of this is the, the end first level. Of the first third of the level, my friend. The end. And I fell. That's the story of my life. That was the way to go. It was a way to go. Oh, Heidi, 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 Heidi. He's trying to sing Irish drinking song right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, didn't we try to do that one year at Grace? Yeah, we tried. It didn't. It didn't go terribly, but it was one of those things that was like, yeah, that was fun. Let's never do that again. <laughs> so okay, so the three years that I was involved when we did the improv show at Grace, it, it went like this. First year, I was a cast member. Second year, I had like twenty percent control. The third year, I had pretty much, I had the control. Um, the second year, uh, I was, I was sitting with the guy that I was helping plan, uh, Who's Line, and he was like, we gotta do the Irish drinking song! And I was trying to find a really nice way of telling him that we don't have anyone nearly talented enough to do the Irish drinking song, because that's a very difficult improv game to do um and so we did it <laughs> because screw sean's opinion that wasn't a shot at you by the way david that was just that's a hard Dude, game all, all i did try to do was do whose line with you tried to put it together and you're telling me i'm the other guy without your name i'm just joking <laughs> I, I was just a cast member every time. I didn't have control. I just went up on stage, and when they said, Jump, monkey, I jumped. That's and all I, I was did. was the one that said, Jump, monkey. Yep. And hey, I like being told to jump. Yeah, but it was always fun, because, like, I thought that, like, I especially think my last year doing it, or, like, my third year of, ho like, my second year of hosting it, I actually thought that was a really good show, but like everyone around me was like, it was just better my freshman year. And I was like, okay, so no matter what I do, your freshman year one was just better. I mean, got it. I, I, I think I'm one of those people because I felt that way too. I think, because each year I wouldn't have power, obviously. I would just be a cast member. I and got I, the power! And I didn't need power or anything, but. Like, my first year, I was the new guy, and I didn't know of any drama between the people that were doing it. Right. And so I was just like, oh, they asked me to do something, and it's fun. And as years went on, I still wasn't in the drama, but every year there was like, oh, I don't want to do this because this person's doing it. And it's like, oh, right. just grow up. Grow well, I, well, here's the thing. I didn't really know about the drama either. 
But mm-hmm. the secret was, when I learned about it, I ignored it. Right. Like, all get out. Because I just did not care. At all. I was like, you are children. Stop being children. You're supposed to be adults. This is college. I'm not an adult. Now I'm gonna starve. Hey, now I'm gonna we're in new territory starve. now. I'm a real boy. Oh, you're good. You're good. See? You're good. <laughs> you're I good. I think that bird will come back. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Didn't matter anyways. And it doesn't even bladder. Anywho. Nine twenty-eight. You just gave up. <laughs> You're just like, nope, not right. <laughs> That's my problem. It's like, I don't commit. No kidding. But what I do, it's when I, I, I commit at the wrong times, and I commit to the <laughs> dumbest things. Commit to the bid. True. Commit to the squirrel's agents. I, I can't put a ring on that, though. Dang it! I can put a ring in it. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I got a dirty look from my wife. She's happy she married me. Or should you say, my wife? My wife. <laughs> Hi get... there, Shawnee the squirrel. You want to hear my poor head impression? No. No. My wife. <laughs> You're good. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I fall apart. Down to my core. <laughs> Are you still singing Lincoln Park? No, that was Post Malone, which okay. is essentially sometimes Aldi brand Lincoln Park. Because I didn't. <laughs> Didn't listen to Linkin Park all that much. And uh, didn't listen to Post Malone at all, so. Post Malone's, I, I like his music. He, He's a w- very weird man, but weird and like, a, oh, I'd hang out with him, but like not at too, too late of a time kind of way, because he scares me a little bit, but that's fine. Sometimes being scared is a good thing. And then part of you asks why you've been scared all along. And that maybe that you're missing out on something in life that you never thought you really wanted until now. And then you realize maybe love's just something that you need to commit to. And then you do. And you realize maybe it was worth fighting for. Wow, we went deep into philosophical <laughs> debate on my comment of didn't really listen to Linkin Park or Post Malone. <laughs> I just Hashtag kinda, deep. I committed Stick to, up to that, Bull Burnham. You see, I took a bit that really wasn't that good, and I committed to it. Like all hell. And it showed. And here we aren't. To quote the Joker from The Dark Knight, and here we go. And here we are. That's right. I recite really strange lines from very well-known movies. Like Mr. That, Incredible. That's not an obscure line. It's not one that you hear often. It's not... Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stranger. stranger. Just like what I do the, the Incredibles bit and say, just like Mr. Incredible once said, I got, I got time. <laughs> that's an all-time great line. What are you talking about? I'm bringing that one back, bro. That's yeah, way I got better. time. That's way better than the... Greater good, I am your wife. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, I didn't tell you, Sean, and you're going to be proud of me. So my wife mentioned that her parents got me um, a good amount of movies for Christmas, including within that was the Fast and the Furious movies. Um, I also got both Ghostbusters and both of the Willy Wonka movies. Mm-hmm. But the one I was most proud of sharing with you is they got me the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. Yeah! And I had not seen those yet. And so movie my wife and night. I... Movie night. My wife and I, over the last week, had watched both. Dream is crushed. <laughs> Dream is crushed. 
and uh, I'm impressed. I like them both. I understand the hype for those now. Tom Holland's just the perfect Peter Parker, man. And a good Spider-Man. And a really good Spider-Man. Because I've heard, and I guess I can see why people were very, like, much into his portrayal. Um, because Tobey Maguire was a great Peter Parker, but a lot of people considered him not to be a great Spider-Man. And then Andrew Garfield was kind of the... Uh, the opposite, where he was a good Spider-Man, but he was too good-looking to be Peter Parker. 100%. He was more of a hipster than a nerd. Yeah. At a time where hipsters were cool, were, and also being nerds were cool. So. It felt like they were trying to get teenage girls on board, and not Spider-Man fans. Yeah. I only saw the first Andrew Garfield one, and I still love the Tobey Maguire movies, all three of them. Even all the crap that's thrown on the third one. I loved that movie. Did you see, uh, did you see Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are both coming back to play, um, Peter, uh, co both coming back to play Spider-Man alongside Tom Holland? I'm interested to see how that turns out. They're doing, like, a multiverse thing. Yep. Wait, have you seen all, like, the post credit scenes and stuff? I saw the one in Far From Home that confused my wife a ton. You mean, my wife? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Keep going. <laughs> the one where, uh, what's her, Robin from How I Met Your Mother, because I can't remember the character's name, and Nick Fury turned out to be aliens, and then it turned out that Nick Fury was just off doing his own thing somewhere. Mm -hmm. Saw that one. Saw at the end of Far From Home where uh, we find out that uh, uh, Jay, Jay is going to, uh, or he did reveal Spider-Man's secret identity. So you saw J. Joma Jameson? I sure did. That I'm is so what happy. I was trying to hint to I was so, so happy that I saw J.K. Simmons back doing his thing. Oh, dude. And, like, the new format of it, too. Like, the, um, kind of like how they're doing it. Kind of like the Alex Jones kind of thing. I'm in love, man. Uh, I just... There's no other person that should play J. Jonah Jameson. Agreed. Because even the guy that plays J. Jonah Jameson in the... Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man games is just doing a J.K. Simmons impression. Oh, I always thought it was J.K. Simmons doing it. No, it's not him. Well, he had me convinced, and I'm a, I'm a <laughs> stupid boy. We'll find out who the voice actor is then. I think he earned his paycheck. He really did. He's also in uh, Miles Morales as well. Who, J.K. Simmons or the uh, other guy? Oh uh, no, uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Oh. <laughs> oh. But they also introduced like a younger, more hip one that Miles listens to that praises Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And there's like a part where like they debate and it's hilarious. It's good. Oh hey, look! You could buy the new Spider-Man game with the money I just sent you for the security deposit! Whoa! I'm sorry, that seems way more sarcastic than it was. I apologize. Kind of. Your wife wanted to kill me there. Why? Because she's probably thinking, No, dude, that money is for me. <laughs> Her face kind of confirmed it. <laughs> uh, I love the very laid-back nature of these episodes. It's just us hanging out, playing some games. Or watching me suck at playing games. I mean, I didn't do so good at playing, um, shoot, Doom, Doom. two weeks ago, yeah. It wasn't my, uh, my greatest moment. Hey, it's better than me at this. True. I mean... Game over. So you know the Ultron dude in Doom? 
that we kept following around that was randomly talking to us. Uh-huh. Same guy that voiced J. Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man game. <laughs> Small world! But yeah, I no joke, I, I was convinced it was J.K. Simmons. But I guess in my mind, I do think of J.K. Simmons being kind of the portrait for what J.J. is going to be in the future. Right. Even if they don't have him. Right. Because J.K. Simmons, outside of those movies, is actually like a super different actor. He's usually not that kind of crass comedic actor. He's more into dramas and stuff. Right. Um, well, that's the thing about him, man. Like, he he just has so much range. Mm-hmm. And, like, I think people forgot how good of an actor he was until um, until the movie Whiplash came out, the one where he's the... The one that made me afraid to go talk to my band instructor the next day that's one of my favorite movies man i love that movie so much i i i liked the movie i'm scared to watch it no because I as it. a jazz drummer i was afraid to see my instructor again i was like i can't do it yeah not dude, gonna it's it brought up it brought up things of me and my like me and my drama teacher from high school where it felt like i was like trying to gain his approval again and I watched it when I was in college. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see the college, right, College Humor? Is that the right yep. one? Yep, mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the one with Weird Al, where they subbed in Weird Al for the student. <laughs> it's incredible! I need to show it to you between episodes. Oh, 100%. That is a thing that is happening. He, uh, so Weird Al obviously doesn't play drums, but he's playing his, um... The- uh, the uh, accordion yeah and um it, he they're basically doing the when jk simmons is sitting there yelling at miles teller about keeping time yeah not quite my tempo yeah not quite my tempo they they do that scene um but they just take jk simmons part and they edit it in with weird Al acting opposite of it so they didn't actually get jk simmons for it right they just took the part of the movie, and then they actually got Weird Al Which for is it. almost even better, to be honest. Um, I bet you if they asked J.K. Simmons, he would have done it. Um, but they probably thought, no, this would be funny if we kept his character being exactly the same. Yeah. And then let Al just react to it. Do you know who Tommy Wiseau is? Mm-hmm. Have you seen the college humor video where they have Tommy Wiseau do an do a audition to play the Joker? I think I might have. It, it looks is. like we have two videos to watch between episodes. <laughs> it's incredible. They even have the other guy from the room play Batman. <laughs> it's so good. Checkpoint. That was funnier to me than it probably should have been. But you know what? <laughs> it tickled my laugh box. Oh, I'll tickle your laugh box in between these episodes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to be flattered or super, like, worried about myself right now. The answer is yes. It probably should be a mixture of the two. Mm-hmm. Like, kind of like part aww, and like part aww. And part aww. There you go. <laughs> and part ugh. Once again, got the look from my wife of, dude, seriously? <laughs> Get that on the daily. Because I always say dumb stuff. Why say smart stuff? When you can say dumb stuff. David, I'm dying too much. Do you want me to beat it for you? Are you at that point yet? This is the first time I'm tempted. Well, you know, I'm here when you need me. All right, let's make a deal. If I don't beat it after the, if I don't beat this level after next episode, I'm gonna hand over the controller to you. Okay. Is that a deal? That's a deal. So we'll finish this one because we're not done uh-huh. with this one yet. And then the next one, you will do. We'll see if you can endure. And then I'll show you how a real Crash player plays. Mm-hmm. Do we still have a good amount of time this episode? We still have probably two run-throughs if you die really fast. <laughs> so, yes, two bar run-throughs. <laughs> but we, we got five minutes. You're good. Oh, all right. All right. 
I gotta prove myself now. Yeah. Gotta prove something. Because <laughs> I ain't proving a whole lot right now. <laughs> Get out of here. Scrubs. Swiping at my shoes. Swipe or no? Th yeah, get off my MJs. Yeah, get off my new Michael, balance. My, get off my new Michael Jacksons. Get off my smooth criminal sixes. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay, Annie? <laughs> His new winter shoes. Annie, are you snow okay? <laughs> Comedy was hit by and struck by a smooth criminal. It was hit by a bus. Just like uh, Gina George. I was driven by a smooth criminal who worked at Machinima. I was trying to make, I was going to make like a speed reference, as in the movie with Keanu Reeves. Mm. But uh, didn't come to me fast enough. Didn't come with enough speed. Nope. <laughs> Comedy. We don't got it. <laughs> but we claim we do. Nice. We don't got comedy, but we got the off uh, the uh, off brand stuff over from the Spartan brand. <laughs> from the SpongeBob brand. From the SpongeBob brand. See, I'm wondering if the pressure of handing it off to me is actually gonna make you do better. That was kind of the plan. It's all good. You're Gucci. You're Turn good. This, this is where you were at that one point. Nice. I think you're about halfway done. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only two levels to this one. Like, once you get to the next, uh, once it levels out again, it's a, a straight shot. And then you're you're done. Great. Oh, you were totally here before. Yeah, I was totally here. I, I I for some reason I thought the fast platforms were the spot you got stuck at. No, but it still made me feel cool when you said nice. <laughs> you're welcome. So friends are for true. Alright, I've still been here. Yep, this is that's the top of the wall right there. Yep. Um, that's the guy I always think of that looks like uh, the scientist from Phineas and Ferb. Mr. Uh, Professor Doofenshmirtz. Yep. Uh, looks like he's about to look at me and go, Brady the Platypus. That's a good cartoon. I don't care who you are. My wife doesn't like it all that much. That's like one of the shows I'll never forget watching for the first time. Because it aired after the premiere of High School Musical. And my brother and I were sitting there. And like, that might be the hardest we have ever laughed at like a cartoon show. Because it's, it's, it's kind of the, a lot of cartoons sometimes don't stick to like a cut and paste formula. Where like, oh, it's the same thing with minor tweaks and it still be good. Right. Um. And with that show, it's the, it's the same thing every episode with minor tweaks. Yet it still proves to be funny and somehow. Yep. And it's hilarious. Let's get some lives. Ow! Ouch, Charlie! Ow! Charlie! Charlie, but my... That really hurt! I'm glad that one of our top five references on the channel is is a old... It's something we stole from an old YouTube video. Exactly. You're welcome, Charlie. I want to see what's what they've been up to. I'm going to look up what happened to Charlie bit me. <laughs> if that doesn't get the FBI wondering, I don't know what will. First, Charlie... <laughs> First, Charlie bit him, and then it was the crippling addiction of heroin. <laughs> Charlie bit my finger, 2007 film. Don't know if film is the right word for it. Uh-huh. Home video, maybe. 
It came out in 2007, which would put the boys at 14 and 16. Oh my gosh! Those kids are TikTok stars now, probably? I mean, Rob's. Hey, remember me? Charlie bit me? Now I talk like this. As of December 2020, the video has received over 878 million views. Spank you very much, my gosh. If only I was around to do something that impressive in 2007. Oh wait, I was 10 in 2007. These kids were 1 in 3 and they beat me. Why couldn't I have been a dumber kid when YouTube came out? In fairness... They didn't really do anything. Charlie just bit him. Yeah, the kid, like, Charlie got bit, or, or Charlie bit him, and the other kid was, like, just, like, a bitch about it. <laughs> For lack of better terms. That's just kind of what happened. Ouch, Charlie. Ouch. Do you remember? Charlie. Do you remember Chris Crocker? No. Leave Brittany alone! Oh, yeah. I didn't know that's what his name was. I reference that all the time. Uh-huh. He, um... He works in, um... How do I put this? He works in the, um... In the entertainment industry. But more of the... Hmm. How do I... How do I say it without just coming out and saying it? Is it porn? It's gay porn. Okay, there's some people out there that could really dig that. <laughs> Not us. You know, he is leaving Britney alone. It's true. Britney's got her own crap going on. Yeah, leave her alone. <laughs> Alright. What am I missing here? Uh, you know, just jump correctly. There you go. And then I would jump. Yep. There you go. And that's the end. Man, there's so many lives to be had. Probably gonna blow them off at the end, <laughs> at the end of the episode anyways. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, you guys get a longer episode because of our uh, little bonus stage here. Yeah. Unless we want to uh, stop uh, real fast and then resume from this spot. We could always do that, too. I really want to see that video, so let's stop. <laughs> and then we oh, can... yeah. We, we totally have things to watch, so go ahead and pause it, and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.